booktube, it's Thea, and this video is going to be my December book haul. So for December, I have a total of seven books to show you guys. Only a couple I actually purchased myself. So let's go ahead and dive right in and show you guys what I have for December. The first book I see here on the top of the pile is called The Sight by David Clement Davis. I don't know much about this book. Um, it kind of it was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend's sister, and she said it was one of her favorite like YA novels and. Um, I know it follows a wolf pack seeking shelter of an abandoned castle and it says here the she-wolf is about to give birth and her pups will not be able to survive the harsh Transylvania winter but something more threatening than snow and wind stalks the pack a lone wolf possessed of a mysterious and terrifying power known as the sight and with her travels a raven a bird that feeds on the dead. Morgra's arts show her that one of the pups born beneath the castle holds a key to power even stronger than her own. Power that could give her control of this world and the next. But the pack she hunts is brave and loving. They will do anything to protect their own even if it means setting in motion a battle that will involve all of nature including the creature wolves fear the most. Man. This sounds like something I'm going to love. It sounds like the perfect, like, curl up during winter time and read. It is already starting to get a little warm here, but this is definitely the perfect winter read. I love fantasy. I love wolves. I love winter reads. So this sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I also have here a copy of The Never Ending Story by Michael Ende. This uh, was another gift from my boyfriend's sister. I really love this uh, like Penguin Classics edition. It's absolutely beautiful cover. I have read this book. It's one of my favorite books. I love the never ending story. Um, and so she purchased a fresh new copy for me. I next picked up The Laird's Forbidden Lady. This was kind of just a fun little um, smutty read that I figured would be a lot of fun to just go ahead and pick up when I was in the mood for like a smutty romance or maybe the next like smutathon. Um, I, it has like huge Outlander vibes. It even says here, uh, Ian Laird of Denrose is as rough and wild as the Highland heathen, yet the return of Sassanek Selina and her family to claim his land ignites hatred and passion in equal measure. This sounds like it's just going to be such a smutty, guilty, fun um, romance read, and um, I am all down for some um outlander vibes i love outlander i'm on a huge outlander kick right now so this was definitely something that uh sparked my interest so it could be a fun quick read uh and i'm hoping to get to this very soon i also picked up a lie to me by jt ellison i don't know much about this i was at kind of a uh, like a thrift store uh booth at a swap me and i happened to see this it seemed really interesting um, it's kind of a domestic thriller. It says here, Sutton and Ethan, idealistic life is not as it appears. They seem made for each other, but the truth is ugly. Consumed by professional and personal betrayals and financial woes, the two both love and hate each other. As tensions mount, Sutton disappears, leaving behind a note saying not to look for her. Ethan finds himself the target of vicious gossip as friends, family, and the media speculate on what really happened to Sutton. As the police investigate the lie the couple have been spinning for years quickly unravel. Is Ethan a killer? Is he being set up? Did Sutton hate him enough to kill the child she never wanted and then herself? The path to answers is full of twists that will leave the reader breathless. This almost kind of sounds um, something similar to like Gone Girl, um, but it was like a couple dollars at the thrift um, booth at the swap meet and so I figured it was worth a read and I'm always interested in finding some new kind of like thriller um so some more like mystery and domestic thriller so I picked this up as well uh next on the list is the two books that I got from book of the month for December the first one being the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins reads I have already read this I absolutely fell in love with love with this um this is probably one of my favorite reads of 2018 I devoured this book i think i read it within i think i read it in like three or four days i was bawling i was laughing i was so intrigued i just loved everything about this and i am really excited that i decided to pick it up from book of the month as my extra book for december and it's been really hard to find the hardcover edition so i'm really glad that i picked it up and i gave this a read and then my main 
December choice for book of the month was One Day in December by Josie Silver. I never got around to reading it. I probably won't read it until next December. Um, but it does say here, two people, ten changes, one unforgettable love story. Laurie is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere outside of the movies. But then through the mist on a bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man that she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet. There's a moment of pure magic. And then her bus drives away. One Day in December is a joyous, heartwarming, and immensely moving love story and a reminder that fate takes inexplicable turns along the route to happiness. This sounds like it would have been the perfect read for December. I just didn't get around to it. It sounds like it's like the perfect winter romance, kind of like maybe like a lifetime movie, um, maybe like a Hallmark lifetime movie, but I'm super intrigued. It seemed really interesting. I don't read a lot of romance, so I'm definitely interested in branching out, and it sounds like a lot of fun. I know a lot of people read it in December and really enjoyed it, so I'm really excited to hopefully get to this. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to it um, this month. I'm really hoping to be able to get to this soon as well. And the last book in my December haul came from my wonderful boyfriend, who I love very much. He knows that I have been eyeing this, eyeing this at Barnes & Noble for what feels like forever. Um, I don't want to mess it up because it's so pretty, but it's the uh, Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks. This is like the 10th anniversary edition. It's all three books. It's got black sprayed edges. It's got a black cover. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I have not read the Night Angel Trilogy, but knowing... Um, I just know it's something I'm going to absolutely love and I have been eyeing this edition I think since it came out definitely have been eyeing it like all year this thing is a chunker definitely not something I'm going to go ahead and bring around this is like my read at home book but I am so excited to dive into this I don't even want to like continue touching it because you can like see all of the fingerprints already but I am so absolutely ready to dive into this I am just going to binge this whole series I, I'm just so excited. I have been craving like a really good like fantasy series lately that just hasn't been sparking my interest and so I feel like this is what I need right now. I'm just, I'm so excited to dive into that. I have just been really itching for a good fantasy and I feel like that's gonna, it's gonna quench my thirst for a good fantasy. Um, but I'm so excited to dive into that very, very soon. So here are the seven books that I hauled in December. What did you guys haul in December? Or did you get any Christmas, did you get any books for Christmas? Or did you get more like gift cards and you go ahead and buy your own books? So um, if you have any thoughts, comments, and opinions about any of these, if you like any reviews, please let me know down in the comments below as well. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll See you guys in the next video. Bye!